welcome back to my channel. This is Selena. I hope you're well. So today I'm bringing to you a new project. Um, if you're new to my channel, I make crochet videos and crochet designs every week. So don't forget to subscribe um, for more crochet videos. I also have my blog selinaveronique.com and all my patterns are downloadable. Um, for free on that. So make sure to check that out too. So yes, so today I'm bringing to you this um, vintage um, man blanket. So I have been trying to find like a design for a man blanket and well it's actually a blanket for anybody really. This is going to be for my baby boy. He's still um, a baby so I'm going to wait a few months until I put that blanket um, on him but however um, I love the colours and I think they it looks really vintage and I was looking for colours that would be um, more like boy colours and so yeah I hope you enjoy this video and yeah so I'm just going to explain how I did this so this is um, I've made squares and then stitched them together and then I made a very simple border. So again I'll be going step by step through this. Um, again I chose to do like a half double crochet stitch for my squares because I thought it looked a bit more manly rather than shells or like a different kind of stitch and I used like a really simple um, single crochet border because again I wanted something a bit more um, manly so to speak but again you can make this blanket for anybody a girl or a boy and you can switch the colours absolutely so yes without further ado I'm going to explain how I did this blanket so it's actually 43 and a half inches long on 36 inches wide. I've got 20 squares in total and four different colours. So I've got mustard, light blue, cream and denim blue. So those are the colours I chose and I switched them up um, as I was going. I'm going to put photos on my blog if you want the exact um, pattern. I'll put photos and the description of how I um, stitched them up all together so you can have the exact colours um, made up for this blanket like I've done. Otherwise you can just um, randomly just put the colours however you want and then stitch the blanket however like in the best way that you prefer to put the squares if that makes any sense. So each square measures nine inches um, high and wide. However, this is a bit like I always find that I don't always get the exact um, like exact measurement for each and every square. It's you know sometimes it's a teeny bit different so that's totally okay I still manage to stitch them up and it's perfectly symmetrical so don't get too worried if it's not exactly nine inches and it's a bit bigger or a bit smaller I'm just talking a few millimeters obviously but I, I don't get really too stressed out about that kind of thing and lovely I'm really happy about how it came out and yeah so basically I used, I'm going to link everything down below, like write exactly which yarns I've used for this blanket. I had a, a lot of um, skeins in my stash that I hadn't used, leftovers, and I just used those and bought I think two, these two colours. I already had the cream and the mustard. However, you can use any... You can use any chunky yarn that you want. I have used, for the mustard colour, I used, so yes, for the mustard colour, I used Hayfield Bonus Chunky in Mustard. Then for the 
dark blue it's stylecraft special chunky in denim this is stylecraft special chunky in light blue and this is the cream one is stylecraft chunky for babies in baby cream i think but again i will be giving the exact description the exact skeins um, that I used in the description box and on my blog and each time I used two skeins of each so two skeins of each colour makes up your 20 squares in total and I used the cream colour that I had left just to give like um, the edging so that's Stylecraft in Special Baby Chunky in um, shade baby cream so that's the same as that so yes I hope that's clear and without further ado I'll um, jump right in it's a very 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 easy um, pattern it's a very easy blanket to make so you are going to be making each and every square individually that's what I did and then I just stitched them up last night I will show you how to make the square, how to sew it to the blanket um, together and I will show you how to make the border. So yeah, I'm just going to jump right in and I hope you enjoy. I've got loads of pictures on my blog so just go and check that out. I will be using US terms. I will be using a 6.5mm crochet hook a tapestry needle and a pair of scissors. So for the purpose of this video I will be using a generic yarn um, for your um, squares you will be chaining um, 21 plus 2 so um, 23 stitches in um, chains sorry in total so you are going to be chaining 23 and I'll just let you go ahead and do that so um, also make a slip knot pop your hook through your slip knot and chain so I'm just gonna do a few chains and um, yeah so one two so once you've done your 23 um chains so i've done a smaller chain however the um process is the exact same so you will have 23 chains once you've done that you will make a half double crochet so to make that just wrap your yarn around your hook and pop it into the third chain from the hook so count one two three and go into that chain right here and take your yarn pull it through you've got three loops on your hook and take your yarn and pull it through the three loops and you've got a half double crochet and you have a half double crochet so I'm just going to zoom in. So you will be, so now you have a half double crochet and the first chain two counts as your first half double crochet. So we are just going to half double crochet into each and every single stitch until the end of the row. So just wrap your yarn around, go into that chain, take your yarn, pull it through take your yarn and pull it through the three um, uh, loops and do that until the end of the row and you should have 22 half double crochets in total because you will include that first chain two that you did so I'm just gonna let you make all your half double crochets until the end of the row and I'll be back to show you row two. So there we go, I've done my first row, obviously yours will be longer and, and be of 22 stitches in total. So what we're going to do for row two is chain two, one and two and turn your work and 
once you've turned your work, you will be placing a half double crochet in each and every stitch along this first chain two counts as your first half double crochet from this row, so you will be half double crocheting in the second stitch, just so that you have a straight edge. Just make sure you go into the second stitch here because this chain two goes with that first stitch here. So just go into the second stitch and do your half double crochet and another half double crochet. There we go. And just carry on doing your half double crochets until the end of this row. So I'm back and I've practically finished uh, my um, row. However, I just wanted to show you how I finish because so you've got all your um, half double crochets here and you will be wanting to do your last half double crochet in the chain two right here from the previous row. So just make sure you do your half double crochet into this chain two. It, it is kind of difficult to locate that, which is why I'm making a point of showing you because it's a chain two and not a proper um, half double crochet. So this is what it's gonna look like. At first, it's going to be a bit like going out like that, if that makes any sense. But that's totally okay. It's going to go straight as you go along. So if you want to make sure you've got all your stitches, count them. So you should have 22 stitches at every row. So I suggest if you are um, hesitant, just count them each row. So then you're going to chain two, one and two. Turn your work. Once you've turned your work, you are going to be doing the exact same thing and going into each and every half double crochet from the previous row. There we go. And yeah, just carry on doing that for 16 rows in total and make all your squares. Always remember to um, go into that first chain two and you'll be great. So don't forget that first chain two right here into which you need to do your half double crochet. And if you need more help, just rewind the video and um, and re-look at it because it's gonna be the exact same thing. Row after row, you are going to be having 16 rows of um, half double crochets. Once you've finished, just so obviously it's not going to look like this at all because I've not even finished my row but it's just to show you just snip off your yarn leaving quite a long tail the reason why I'm telling you to leave a long tail is because um, you are going to be using these to sew your work so I would leave let me see um, I would leave a tail of at least 16 inches approximately again. So obviously yours is not going to be like this. Yours is going to be, I'm just going to finish that row just to show you how to snip off your and finish your, um, your um, row. So I'm just at the end of the row and I'm going to pop a half double crochet into this last chain two, there we go, and I'm going to leave a long tail, snip it off, and to fasten off, you are just going to take that, um, your yarn and pull it through that loop, like so, and just tighten it, and there you go, obviously yours will be a lot bigger, it will be 16 rows long, but it's just to give you an example, and what you will be doing is you will be making um, five, five squares of each of those four colors and you will have 20 
um, squares in total. So I'll just let you do those and I'll be back to show you how to stitch them together. So I'm back and I've already stitched most of my squares together. So it's really easy how I began um, to stitch them is just I um, popped my first four in a row like so and just stitched them together and then I put the next four underneath and stitched those together and so on and so forth and what I'm going to do is to stitch them I'm just going to take my um, long tail and obviously um, these are different colours and you are going to be choosing a right side and a wrong side, meaning that you are going to be choosing a side where you will be seeing the stitches. So just make sure you only choose one side so that you have the other side, which is nice and um, seamlessly stitched, if that makes any sense. So I chose this side. However, I don't feel like um, the that the stitches look bad, it just gives that homemade kind of rustic vibe which I really like, so yeah. So what I've done is just, I'm just going to pop my um, tapestry needle through um, this um, square like so and then I'm just going to pop it through the next um, square. Just make sure you kind of pull them um, so that they're equal as you go along and I'm just going to pop my hook back and forth into um, my um, work, my squares, just to stitch them together. This is how I stitch, however you can use whichever technique you prefer, that's totally fine. So I'm just going to stitch these together and then um, once I've done that, I'll just show you how I'll tidy up my loose ends because you will have it, you will be having quite a few loose ends on this blanket. What I've done is that I've um, tidied them up on every row, meaning that I tidy up my loose ends as I go along. This is what I prefer to do because I don't like having a project, especially a big project like that, and having to tidy up hunt, like loads of loose ends at the very end. Um, I find it's easier if I just tidy them up as I go along or after each um, row, if that makes sense. So, to make your border, you are going to choose a... Um, any place you want to make it. So I'm just going to choose um, here. So I've taken the rest of my cream yarn. I'm just going to pop it through like so. Take my yarn, pull it through with my hook and I'm just going to tie it twice just to make sure it is um, well tied. And what I do is I'm going to work that loose end into um, my border as I go. I'm just going to pop my hook through that same stitch that I've attached my yarn in, grab my yarn, pull it through and make a chain. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to single crochet into each and every stitch around. So just go into the next one, make a single crochet and just go round um, this side, so this side is quite easy because it's the side of the half double crochets so it's quite easy to see the stitches if that makes any sense. However, once we get, I will show you how to do the corner and how to do um, the other side which is the side. So I've just reached the corner so I'll just show you how I um, pop my um, single crochet through that, so that's quite easy, it's the exact same thing. I'm just going to pop a single crochet through um, the, each and every stitch in the corner. So there we go, one and then one here 
and then I'm going to turn my work around and work on this side, this side right here. So what I'm going to do is just pop a single crochet however best I can because it's not the side of the half double crochets like the other side. So it's a teeny bit more um, difficult to see the stitches. However, just do what you can and it will be great. So I'm just popping my single crochets through and I'll be back to show you how to finish your border. So once you've arrived at um, the place you began your, um, your border, you are just gonna pop your hook through that chain that you did, pop your hook through, Take your yarn, pull it through that loop and that loop on your hook to form a um, slip stitch and just snip off your yarn and pull it through. And the last thing you'll need to do is just tidy up that loose end. And there you go, you've got your blanket. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments. Check out my blog for um, loads of photos and explanations and the free pattern. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I've got lots and lots of more crochet related things coming. And yeah, if you have any questions or comments, just leave them in the comment section. And bye-bye for now.